welcome back to Banksia Cove. So I'm getting started on my Halloween soaps today. So I need to be, because there's going to be quite a few embeds in this one, I need to get started on those. So the first thing that I need to make is my moon. So I'm going to have to make one and a half of these. Okay, so the mold that I'm using for my moon molds is this one here. It's just a small circle. Um, so what I'll do now is I'm going to add in my lye. And then what I'll do once I give this a quick blend, because it won't take long for that to emulsify, I will split off the colors and then we'll get it poured in here. I'm also not putting any fragrance in this either guys. Um, the soap will be fragranced enough that this little moon won't, you won't even notice that it's not fragranced. I should have probably done my wipe first, but oh well. I just want to pour this grey in, give it a bit of a swirl. to do so once I pour this I don't want to move it so I'm not going to make anything else today and then hopefully in a few hours this will be hard enough for me to demold and then I'll make another half batch so let me just change the position of the camera so you can see me pour this in
Yep. Sorry if I'm blocking the camera here, guys. I'm just trying to get the rest of it in this mold. that there is going to be my moon so we're just going to leave that off to the side here to saponify and then once it's hard enough what we'll do is we will demold that and then we'll make the next one I won't bother showing you guys me making that again um, that's just boring um, but what I'll do is we're going to now do some more embeds so I need to get my extruder and it's the first time I will be extruding some soap dough so I'm going to go ahead and grab what I need for that and I'll see you guys back here at the bench in a moment hello um, I am back in all honesty it has been a couple of weeks so I'm continuing on with making the Halloween soap so I believe where I left this video off at was making my moon embeds so um, they have been done and they look like this. And I've also made the tombstone embeds and also my bats, which I've decided are going to go on top. I'm not actually going to put them in the soap. There's just not enough room. So the tombstones turned out really nice. And then we've also got the bats that I'm going to put on top. Um, with some star glitter. So um, I've got everything prepared. So I've got my oils. I'm going to do this in two pours. I'm planning to. Now I've never done a soap like this. I've never put embeds actually in the soap. Um, I did enjoy using the extruder. But to be honest, it was really taxing on my hands. Um, squeezing out that soap dough um, it was actually quite difficult and my hands are quite bruised from um, softening the soap dough in between my hands and then putting it into the extruder tool and then pushing it all through the extruder tool to get both my tombstone and my bats so I'm glad that that part is behind me I might have to even though the extruders um, new I might end up having to try and grease it up or something or I might just have to get hubby to do it because it was really quite painful um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these embeds to the side we're going to add in our colloidal oats and our kaolin clay as well as our sodium lactate mix that up and get the first pour done which is going to be our grass hill that the tombstone is going to go on and then we're going to wait for that to set up um and then we'll do our second pour, which is going to be like a purple and blue with a bit of black um, night sky kind of around the moon. That, that's the plan anyway. We will see how it goes. The fragrance all I'm using today is Kumquat from Aussie Soap Supplies. It is a fragrance oil I've used before and it did not accelerate. So fingers crossed today, it is well behaved. Um, so let's go ahead and start mixing up everything. All right, so we're going to do our sodium lactate. So it, the reason why it's been a couple of weeks since I started doing this, we've been off camping again. Um, and I've just been really, really busy with work. Um, the weekends have been pretty busy as well. Um, being that we went away camping and we also um, had a bit to do around the house. So um, this is why my videos aren't being as consistent as I would like them to be. I would love to be able to release a video each Monday like I was previously, but I had a bit of a um, log of videos to do that with. And I'm really sorry, guys, but I just haven't been able to do it. And I was putting so much pressure on myself to try and get these videos out weekly. So if it doesn't happen, I just have to realize that I'm doing all that I can and um, just try to stop putting so much pressure on myself. 
All right, so I'm going to now add in my kale and clay. So I've added in my water. Add in my kale and clay. And the colloidal oatmeal. Just going to give that a quick blend together. just need to quickly grab some water to clean my stick blender off as I go. Let's add in our colour. So this is Let Us Entertain You by Mad Micas. I just pre-dispersed this in the oils that I'm using in my batch. Whoops. This has been a couple of weeks and I've made some soap. I actually am quite a bit nervous about this one. And because I haven't done the embeds or anything like this before, I am a little bit edgy, I'm not gonna lie. And making a mess by the looks of it. I'm going to add my fragrance oil in now. As I said, this one didn't accelerate on me the last few times that I've used it, so fingers crossed it behaves itself today. And now let's go ahead and add in our lye. Just trying to minimize the amount of bubbles that are going into the soap to get that nice smooth finish at the end. Fragrance oil definitely de accelerates, if that's the right word to use. Mm. There we are. Okay, this cleaned off. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my mulch. Now I've also noticed with my camera, when I can see things in on screen, it doesn't necessarily mean you guys can. Sometimes I work here and I think you guys can see okay, but it doesn't really seem to, sometimes it cuts it off. So let me try there this time. Go ahead and pour this in.
I'm going to have to let this set up enough so that it is going to be enough to hold my tombstone, obviously. Um, and I want to try and get a bit of a hill, but flat, so obviously the tombstone sits on top. Do is just smooth this out. I'll bring it over so you guys can see. Just bring this over so you guys can see a bit better what I'm doing. Smooth it out. Try and texture this. Texture the top of it as well. Right, I'm happy with how that's looking, so let's go ahead and clean up the inside bits. silicone in here just trying to make it look like a grassy hill just going to tap this down I don't know if that's going to be strong enough yet to hold my tombstone so I'm going to leave this for just five ten minutes to make sure and I will back, be back here when we add in our embeds. Okay, so I'm back with my tombstones. Fingers crossed, this all goes to plan. Oh, where do I want to start? Let's go about there. Okay. Just want enough room to be able to get soaked down in this side here. See again if I can adjust this so you guys can see a bit better. Looks a bit better, okay. Okay, let's just pop this over here while I go and get the other oils. And I'm also just going to quickly weigh out the rest of my water and lye that I need for my next batch. Okay, so I've got my water and my lye. I'm going to add my additives, sodium lactate, colloidal oatmeal, pale and clay, the water, and blend this up. Now in this I've got three colours and then some of them are going to be lightened as we go. So we've got our purple, blue and black. So we're going to have to split them off. Pour in our lye. Now 
to work out what I want for each one, I'm just going to get the total weight of my batter, which I've already got from Soap Cow, so I know how much soap is in here. And then what I'm gonna do is just divide that by my three colors, so that way I know what measurement I need. 540, okay. I'm going to also add my fragrance oil in again. Just going to bring this to emulsification because I want a bit of time to work. Good, okay. Okay, so my battery went flat just as I was finishing scraping out that container, but I've got my three lots here, so I just need to add the colors to each one. And I need to get a wriggle on because this is already at a medium trace. So I don't know if I'll be able to do the design that I want to do, but I'm still going to give it a go. So let's add in our purple. Our blue. And our black. I'll put the links into this one if I remember of the colors I used. I normally like to show you guys, but I'm a bit rushed right now. So I will put it in the description box below. But a lot of the colors that we get here in Australia, you guys can't get and vice versa. So um, if you can get something similar, then by all means go ahead. I mean, it's just a black, purple, and a blue. Okay, so. Here's my black. I definitely stir better with my left hand. I tend to spill when I switch hands. Just trying to make sure that it's all mixed through, getting those bottom bits. Okay, and that's my blue. So my plan is to do this pour before blue and some purple 
I just want to lighten the blue a little. Sorry guys, you can't see. dark purple in there and then I just want to lighten that a bit I'm not cleaning out my jugs as much as I normally would either because I am rushing. Okay. That was a big sigh. Okay. What I want to do is clean this up. Oh, what a mess. I don't want that black in there. Get out. Okay. Move, 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 move. Everything move. All right, spin. Make sure you guys can see. All right, so I wanna just start pouring. I wanna fill in this gap along here. But I want to get the lighter colors kind of evenly. Whoop! Oh dear. Now I'm obviously going to want to put my moon in very soon.
push, 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 push. There we go. And let's get the rest of this in. It is very full. Might have to scrape some off. I don't know. Maybe I'll just texture the top. I think that is what I will do. I'll do something with this excess soap soon. I just want to get this finished. just tidy up a little bit I don't know how I'm gonna go but thinking I'm just gonna do a swell Okay, I'm happy with that textured top. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sprinkle it with my stars. And then we'll add our bats on. Okay, let's grab our bats. I've got to decide where I want them. You know, I'm just going to go straight on the middle. sure where I also left off in regards to Carindale so I think I told you guys that the lease was um, taken over by a permanent lease holder so we had to move shops and we were going to move to a different um, store within the same shopping center that unfortunately did not come to fruition um that shop as well 
got a permanent lease on it. So I had to bump out of Carindale um, on, I think it was the 14th of July. So no, it was the 13th of July because it was the Saturday, the same day that I had the Ipswich markets. So I had to um, finish the markets, come home, unpack all my market stuff, then head off to Carindale and pick up all of my stock there. Um, the person who organizes it all did ask, you know, that she did say that we'd likely be able to go back into the shops on in November and possibly through to Christmas. And I initially said that, look, that would be great, but I honestly don't think I'm going to do it. It was just a bit too overwhelming and stressful and all that sort of thing. So I think I'm just gonna to stick to what I'm doing. Oops. I do the monthly Ipswich markets and I also do the occasional, um, oops, ruining my soap, do the occasional Springfield Lakes markets. So I'm going to continue doing my monthly Ipswich markets and I'm going to continue doing the occasional, if not monthly markets at Springfield, the park called Rebel. Um, so that's an update in regards to the shop and what was happening with that. Um, so in regards to this soap, it's a little bit messy on the edges, but I'm just gonna leave it because it's just, oh, can I clean that up? I do wanna see if I can clean up this silicon because it's just going to be a mess when I demold it. That'll do. I'll see what I can do tidy up wise later. Okay, so as usual guys, what I'll do is I'll bring you down for a closer look at the top. I'm likely going to be leaving this one for 48 hours because it's winter here and the soaps just aren't setting up as quickly as they do when it's a bit warmer. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the top. And I will be back when we cut this one to see how it turned out on the inside. I will see you guys back here then. Hello and welcome back. I'm gonna be cutting the Halloween soap um, today. I don't know what's going on with my recipes lately, but my soap is not hardening as much as I would like. As you can see in here, there's still a little bit of soap that's getting left behind. Um, so I'm going to, I don't know if it's just because it's winter here and it's just taking a bit longer. I'm not sure, but I might change my recipe up and see how my next batch goes, but it is what it is. And we're going to go ahead and cut this one today. Okay. So I want to get it lined up. So I don't cut any of the bats Well, I'm going to try to, but I also want to try and cut it on the side because I don't want the glitter dragging through. So let's go ahead and see how we're going to do that. I'll just a chopping board under here. There we go. So I don't want to cut it as one because I think that those two beds are actually going to be quite hard. Now you can see on the sides here as well that it's just a little bit pitted on the bottom. It's a bit rough on the sides and on this side there's just this bit of a hollow in here and again, a little bit of that soap pulled away as I demolded it, but it is what it is. We're just going to give it a cut. Um, I just want to see, cut it this way now. Go there. 
Okay, so this is our first bar. I'm really happy with how that turned out. I just wish these edges were nice and smooth, but I'll see what I can do to tidy those up. Some of the glitter has dragged through there. So again, I'll try and smooth that out when I'm beveling. Turn it up the right way. So I'm going to go ahead, guys. Um, I'll show you the top first. What's the tops? And that's the inside. So I am really happy with the design and how it turned out. I'm actually really stoked with that. But what I'll do now is I'll get the rest of these cut and then I'll show you the little stamp that I'm going to do on these as well. So I'll be back here in a moment once I've cut the rest of these and I'll show you guys how I go ahead and stamp these. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna be stamping these soaps. I'll just show you guys how I do these four. So I'm just going to try. So some of these are a little bit crooked in there on the side. So I still wanna try and get the stamp straight. That is one. And I'm going to do the other side of each of them as well. Just using my little soap tidy up tool to try and lift these stamps up because I was, I did a test couple and I was Damaging the soap a little with my fingers. And get the crack. And I've just sprayed these with a little bit of my 70% alcohol. Just to help them not stick as much. And we'll just do one more.
And now what I want to do is I want to bevel them. I want to try and tidy them up. Just because it's really fresh and soft still, I'm just doing this really lightly. And I'll also pick off some of the glitter that's come through as well. I don't know if I'll end up making samples with this actually because it's going to have glitter all in it, but we'll see how we go. I'll make them up and make a choice whether I'm going to include them or not. I've got to do the other side of these. So I'll clean up another one with you guys and then I will finish this video here. When you tidy up soap, when it's this fresh, it all sticks to the peeler, but I also like it because you can make samples out of it. It's nice and soft to, and pliable to do that. And what I end up doing I'll go and grab one to show you guys as well excuse all the rattle so in my moon press I end up putting a little shape and then from the scraps I make a sample this was from the Into the Wood soap that I made. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp the rest of these um, and I will then probably just show um, a shot of them all laid out at the end to finish the video. There's some learnings from this one. Um, I need to figure out my recipe at the moment because my soap is still really soft even after um, it's not quite been 48 hours. Um, so I need to work out what's going on with that. I might try oven curing it. Um, so that will force gel and it will also hopefully help with unmolding and making it a bit firmer. Um, so we might test that in the next one. My next couple of videos are not going to be soap. They're going to be a bath soak as well as some body bubble scrub bars. So I will see you guys again at that one. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to drop them down below. If you like this video, please go ahead and like. And if you want to see more of my upcoming videos, please go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you guys again at the next one. Bye for now.